heartbroken family getting ready to say their goodbyes to a beloved son. Yesterday, Alan Bama Williams was shot in the head in 8 Mile. Tonight, his family says he'll soon be taken off life support. Fox 10 News' Lacey Beasley now joining us live in studio. Lacey, you talked with his dad and a family friend tonight. Yeah, I did, Byron. At 22 years old, they say Bama's life was just getting started. And the blaring question for them tonight is why? He's totally brain dead. You know, Bama is gone. From the hospital bed, Bama's father clutches onto his son, savoring the final days he has with him. It's been a lot of time in prayer. I'll take all I can get of that. It's been a grueling day for Alan Williams Sr. and his family. I talked to him outside University Hospital where his son lays on his deathbed inside. He recounts the moment he got the gut-dropping phone call. I didn't know what to think. Just got here as fast as I could. Not a phone call you want to get. Yesterday, Bama Williams was shot in the head off Kushla Oaks Drive in 8 Mile. Hours later, Mobile County Sheriffs took Trevor Deerman and Jeffrey Hawley into custody. Now, both charged with attempted murder and robbery first. Surveillance video from a neighbor captures them driving in just before the crime. <laughs> and hightailing it out an hour later, right after neighbors say shots were fired. A family friend not wanting to show her face says emotions are all over. I'm somewhere between very, very, very mad and very, very, very hurt because, you know, his dad has to sit there now and his grandma has to sit there. You know, everybody has to sit there. His father remembers his personality. Hard to go in the temper of a hurricane. Now, everyone wanting answers. If you could say something to these suspects, if they were watching this tonight, what is something you'd like to say to them? I just want them to come out with all of the truth, why they did what they did. The whole family just wants to know why. You know, they haul ass down there, they take his life, and then they haul ass out, why? Why? That's what I want to know why. Now, Dearman and Holly both have their bond hearings in the morning, and the family says Bama's organs will be donated, and his kidney could even go to his mother. Reporting live in studio, Lacey Beasley, Fox 10 News.